How to develop great website content. A primary element of your website is your content, and it can be among the most important tools in helping you achieve your company's marketing objectives. Website content is crucial in attracting potential clients as people will come to your website for information they're looking for. Bear in mind that any redesigns or improvements to your current site should have a solid content strategy in place. A content strategy will direct your plans for creating content, including what, where, and when. Since people visit your website to read your content, always keep this in mind when doing any kind of redesign. Consider what is most important to them. After all, they are the intended audience for your content. Here are some pointers for creating a solid client-focused strategy for your website content. Determine your unique value proposition. Your company's website should answer the why and how questions, describing how your services and processes add value to your clients. All these issues should be given attention to your value proposition. It must be distinct from other organizations in the industry for it to be noticeable from your competition. Your value proposition will serve as the foundation for content that you will create. Your one-of-a-kind, unique value proposition should be prominently displayed on your website and woven throughout your content. It's critical to the success of your site that your content is targeted and relevant to the people you want to reach. Run a content audit on your website. Look into your content and see what you already have and find out if there's any gaps that you need to fill before making new content. There might be some content that should be rewritten or there could be types of content that are doing well and may not mean, need much attention. You should record all of the current content and then determine what to keep, what to get rid of, and what needs to be refreshed. By carefully reviewing your content, you'll be able to have a better idea of how much new content you need to write and where to begin. Each of your personas should be targeted. Before you begin creating content, make certain that you have a thorough understanding of your target audience, their needs, and their language. That is why creating a buyer persona is a good place to start. You should avoid the usual practice of companies who tend to frequently create website content based on what they want to say instead of what their target audience wants to hear or read. When creating content for your website, keep your various audiences in mind. Always consider what is most important to them. Buyer personas can help you visualize the type of people that you're trying to reach and gain a better understanding of buyer behavior. Identifying your buyer persona will be based on market research and the actual data must, well, it should be about your existing clients. This will aid you and help in understanding and relating to the audience that you're looking to market your products and services to. Once you are able to identify your key buyer personas, you will be able to design content that will meet the needs, uh, interests, and objectives um, of your clients or potential clients. Remember to address their concerns, educate them on industry issues, alleviate their pain points. Moreover, you should create website content not only for clients, but also for potential employees, business partners, media outlets, etc. Keep in mind that you have multiple audience and your website should cater to each of them. The client life cycle should be mapped to the content. Visitors and potential new customers should be guided down the sales funnel by your content. Your content should address the various concerns of your prospective clients from awareness to purchasing, including advocacy. A blog, for example, is an effective tool in creating and increasing awareness. Uh, educating and responding to general queries about your service or your firm. You can use a testimonial for a prospect who is evaluating your firm to show how successful you have been with in your work for other uh, clients and customers. Include the essential information. Focus your content on your customers. Give them what they came there for. Make sure each item in your content on your website has a particular purpose and a target audience. Get straight to the specifics. Educate them about industry trends and all of your questions they may have uh, about your company, your process, your products and services, etc. The audiences uh, such as job seekers will be interested in a career section that includes information about your company culture. 
some of the content essentials to enter on your website include services or capability information, premium content like ebooks, uh, white papers, case studies, uh, a blog, a portfolio, client testimonials, um, team and employee spotlights, uh, frequently asked questions, uh, even videos that can feature a company, uh, company's culture, their process, and up-to-date job postings. Uh, you can use a captivating about page and uh, a lot of other things like that. All these uh, content pieces are essential and should be kept up to date. Um, create enticing web copy. Uh, make an effort to write copy that informs, educates, and guides your target audience. The length of your copy is determined by the purpose of the page and your overall message. As a good rule of thumb for SEO purposes, a minimum of 300 words, maybe three to 500 words is satisfactory. Uh, however, your primary focus should be on quality rather than quantity. Uh, sharing information that is interesting and relevant to your target audience is pretty huge. Stats, uh, research, and quotes are all powerful ways to add substance to your copy. Um, it's critical to spend time, you know, searching out high quality images and graphics. Uh, proofread pretty thoroughly as misspellings and punctuation errors can derail compelling copy and uh, possibly create a negative first impression. Using the proper language. When writing your content, speak the same language as your audience. Use language that your audience will understand uh, more so than industry jargon. Uh, you can use technical language in your content if your audience is more technical. Otherwise, using simpler language that will appeal to the audience uh, while also demonstrating your knowledge and familiarity with the industry. Aside from blog articles and other content, uh, the content on the site should be less formal and more conversational. Uh, write in such a way that your prospect or your client will feel as if you're directing your message to, to them personally. Uh, remember that your content should be about your current and prospective clients and how that you can help them. Uh, make a content calendar. Set goals and objectives. What's the purpose of your content? Do you want to use it to establish your company as an expert in your field, uh, sell a product, educate visitors? Do um, you want to build a relationship and connect with them? Uh, which keywords or key phrases to use in order to drive the most traffic? What kind of tone do you want your content to have? Uh, educational, humorous, first person, third person? Um, Beginning the project with a clear vision of your desired destination or what you're looking to do will make sure that your content is concentrated on driving the right results. Once you've determined the type of content that you need, it's critical to organize it and create a strategic plan to ensure that everything gets done. Choose whether to begin with a specific persona, uh, an industry, or stage of the client life cycle. This includes topics you'll cover, uh, the frequency that you'll publish, the date that you'll publish it at. Uh, after this, you can kind of make a schedule or a timetable to follow. It may be a good idea to plan out, you know, maybe one quarter uh, of the year at a time, just to plan ahead a little bit. Uh, assign the appropriate people. Creating a process for writing content is a component of a content schedule. Individuals within the organization should be designated as content contributors. Uh, look through all the topics that you're looking to cover and pick out people within the organization who are known to be leaders and experts in those areas. You can hire technical experts to assist you in writing content uh, with the help of various people within the company. If your company lacks the necessary resources, um, hire a dependable agency or freelance copywriters who can meet your deadlines. Uh, there should be accountability and consistency with your publishing, uh, so it's good to clearly define who is responsible for uh, the firm's content. It's advisable to seek the assistance of a professional copywriter as well if you can't find anybody within your company. Uh, professional copywriters understand how to make content come to life and jump off the page. Working with a professional copywriter can help your content stand out from the crowd, uh, speak directly to your target audience, and it can be properly optimized for search engines. Uh, performance should be tracked and measured. 
the key to creating an effective web content strategy is to keep your target audience in mind. This requires evaluating and following the performance of all your content on a pretty continuous basis. Inspect which, uh, which pieces are being shared and which pages are getting the most views uh, and which are getting low views or even getting totally ignored. Moreover, it's uh, important to see how long these visitors are spending on each page. This will help you determine uh, where you are resonating with your audience, um, delivering valuable content, and where changes should be made, if any. Uh, maintain you know, the freshness of your content uh, and the relevancy of your website by developing a strategy for creating new content in the future. Uh, these days where quality content drives search engine rankings and prospect delivery, Make sure you have a well-founded website content strategy because it is crucial. Your content will help in the discovery of your website and the quality and relevance to keep visitors on your site and help guide them through the process. Try and follow all these steps and you'll be well on your way to develop, developing a successful website uh, content strategy that should help drive a good bit of traffic and bring about real growth for the business. A website's content can make or break it. It is that crucial. Uh, the quality of the website's content determines the site's success or failure as well as visitors' desire to do business with your company.